Dark matter uh, is something we do not know what it is. There are several phenomena in the universe that cannot be explained unless you suppose uh, there is some sort of invisible matter. Particles are moving through us, through our bodies while we are talking, and most of them just go uh, without any interaction. We believe the dark matter is there, but we have never detected it. We are surely on the verge of something. We just don't know what it is. But you won't eat ice cream again after this because <laughs> it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This looks very, very good. Davide, where are you going from here, scientifically? The, the part I like most of research, which is going into the cave and uh, putting my hands on the detector and uh, trying to understand what, what signals I'm seeing. So if you get extremely lucky, when is the soonest you think you could have some new result? That's going to take another um, between two and three years depending mm -hmm. on how lucky we get. OK, so I can come back in three years. I will say if dark matter has been observed already or if we need to <laughs> keep looking. OK, well, that sounds like a great idea to me, as long as you promise me another ice cream cone like this one. You can drive manual, right? No. <laughs> I spent most of my career uh, trying to measure solar neutrinos, and in the last years, uh, I turned my efforts into direct searches of dark matter particles, which is a supposedly new particle which is distributed around our galaxy, and we are somehow revolving inside the, the sea of new particles to be discovered. So the hypothesis is that dark matter is out there because it's consistent with all of our observations. Exactly. And so it might not be out there, but we, we think it is because of what Until we Until we detect it, we cannot say we are sure. Uh -huh. But all observations uh, point in that direction. That's this it. is very mysterious. This is very mysterious, yes. OK. I'm not going to need my sunglasses. So, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> why are we here? We are here under about 1,800 meters of rock. We are deep underground because uh, all the experiments here, whether they look for dark matter or for neutrino or for any other kind of uh, rare event, uh, they need to be shielded from the cosmic radiation. There are protons or heavier ions that hit the atmosphere. They create a shower of particles that hit us above ground. OK. And the mountain is a filter for this. So if you go here, you have the so-called cosmic silence. So you... Cosmic silence. Cosmic silence. We're in here in the cosmic silence yes. under the mountain. Yeah. I love that. So you, you can hear the cosmic rays here. I would love to see the new detector. OK. It's not ready yet. OK. This is a prototype still. It will prove the whole detector concept. We are rotating within a sea of dark matter particles. Ordinary matter has a tiny chance to interact with it. So we build a detector whose core is a sodium iodide crystal. So if the dark matter interacts in one of our detectors, it's going to excite some molecular uh, energy level. And these energy levels uh, uh, tend to go back to the, to the ground state. Uh, and this releases a, a tiny flash of light. This flash of light, uh, we record it uh, with the electronics chain and then computers, and we analyze it. And we try to discriminate it from background and understand if its rate is constant or it's modulating over the year as, uh, uh, as Dama is observing. Maybe I went too technical there. So if you just had to 
I know this is not what, what example, we do, but if you just had to guess, what, where, where are the, where is the dark matter? Can you guess? No. You would not hazard Science a guess. is not about guess. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not about guessing, but I mean, sometimes I dream about a result yeah, that I might get. I can get. tell you this. So here you also see the models, like the minima supersymmetric models uh, for see dark matter in this area here. Mm -hmm. Okay, extra dimensions models uh, for see ma dark matter in this uh, area here. These other guys, it's gonna be so here. We, so we have no idea. Some other guys will place it here, so we have no idea. We have no idea. Okay. It's so unbelievable that there is so much more matter in the universe that we have realized so far. Of all the matter that should be out there, about 85% of this is invisible. We, we don't know what it is. I mean, it's, uh, we need to, f to find out if this is true, if, it's, if there's really dark matter out there, if there is another explanation which we haven't thought about, uh, because science is also this. Sometimes uh, uh, you spend several years uh, looking for something, and then uh, in the end it's not there, and you have to change uh, in the way you were thinking at things. How long have we been looking for this stuff? Oh, this dark uh, matter, how long have we been looking for it? At least 20 years in, for direct searches, maybe more. So what makes you different? What, what makes you willing to search after something that we don't even really it know exists? It must be there. Come on. It's not <laughs> Why do you wake up and want to work on dark matter? How can I put this? Um, the human being in general is, is curious to understand the world he's living in. The physics I do, its goal is to push forward the boundary of human knowledge, so understand better and better how nature works. A physicist always wants to know the why of the why of the why, and doesn't really care what you can do with it, he just wants to understand how things work. And at that point, I said, okay, I want to be a physicist. Scientifically, of course, uh, I'm afraid that there is no dark matter there, so we, we are hunting ghosts, uh, and uh, in the end, uh, we will do all our best efforts uh, and uh, we'll have to turn our heads somewhere else. But even that, wouldn't, I don't think it's a, it's a drama, because this is also how science proceeds. The more you solve, the more questions you answer, the more questions will uh, pop to your mind. But this is not, uh, this should not scare anybody because it's, uh, this is the fun in it. Every age in history has had its own uh, big unknowns. It's not that someday we will know everything. I don't expect this to happen. Not, not in my life, but not ever. Um, so maybe the human race will extinguish at some point, so we we'll stop asking questions for this reason. But if not, there will be more and more questions coming, for sure.